Tell us what it is, first of all. Well, bit. so the eclipse is the moon getting in the way of the sun. That's essentially what it is. It's blocking out the sun. Um, when you have a total eclipse, obviously, it blocks it out completely. Now, we're not going to get a total eclipse in uh, the UK. In Faroe Islands, yes, but it's going to be a, a quite a impressive partial eclipse throughout most of all the right, UK. Now, Friday today. morning, this is, uh, so it's already daylight, yes, right? Yes, that's right. And we could see up there... 85% eclipse, 90% eclipse, 95%, 98%. And so where's the best place to be up north? Well, as far north as you can get, basically. Like I say, it's the Faroe Islands way yeah. off the top of this map where it's going to be a total. But if you get up to Aberdeen or anywhere up here, it's going to be great. But even, even down from London and Southampton, it's still going to be something to behold. I mean, will it get dark here? Oh, yes, definitely. And when we're talking about 85% of the light being blocked out, that's an 85% reduction in, in the light coming to us. Yeah. So it will get noticeably darker this is going to take over the course of uh, of two hours essentially yeah. to so even if it's murky and you can't actually see the sun very clearly you'll know about it because it will get dark around oh you. definitely you'll definitely know that now uh, we've got our glasses here if you do want to look at the sun a health these. warning, you better have some of these. Be yeah, these are eclipse shades. Um, I, yeah. I've got them on. Adam, you can tell me yeah. that we can't see a thing yeah. through these right now because they're designed to really block out the sun's light directly. Um, these are the only things that should be uh, used I mean, to look directly. they're not sunglasses, that's no, the point. They're, re all. they're really, really only strong. Only these things, if you want to look directly at the sun. There are other things you can do. You can make a pinhole camera and look at a projection, yeah. or you can use binoculars to project the eclipse onto a surface, but otherwise yeah. don't look at I mean, I was directly. going to ask you that because these days, I guess a lot of people will want to take selfies maybe with the eclipse behind them. Yes, yeah, so you can project it yeah. behind you, make a... Make a if, you take, if you take a picture over your shoulder, it's all right. You don't have to wear the glasses then. It's only when you look directly at it that that be it. Uh, I don't think it's a great idea to... Well, you're not going to get a great picture when you're doing it like that. But if when, you, you can use... You can use a, well, <laughs> you can use a, a mirror or a pinhole, a mirror with a little pinhole yeah. on it, or use just a pinhole to project the eclipse onto a surface behind you and then do a selfie like that. Right, that okay. That's how I would uh, do that if you uh, want to really go on Twitter. Now that is looking up at the skies. There is also something, yeah. the best way of seeing it perhaps is looking the other way. So it turns out the International Space Station is going to be at a pretty awesome location when this eclipse happens. So they're going to see something a bit like this. They're going to see these shadows. Yeah. So you see that really dark spot there. Yeah. That is the total eclipse. That's where that's the total shadow of the of the moon yeah. passing over. Whereas the the much larger one, that's only a, a partial shadow. So everywhere in that region yeah. is going to see some sort of partial. So eclipse. we from Earth see an eclipse of the sun. And they, they are seeing. They will the see. Earth. Oh. Well, they see the shadow of the moon eerily passing over the continents. Well, it's going to be exciting. Uh, Friday morning, one way or another. But uh, above all, don't forget your glasses. And, and really, we're going to have to wait till 2090, another 75 years. In the UK, I mean, there are usually like one eclipse a year somewhere on the planet. But if you're staying put here, you're going to have to yeah. wait a long time. And is it just a phenomenon? Do we actually learn anything from eclipses? Oh, you can do some great things. Um, I know there are some experiments being done to see how they affect the weather. Um, they're a great way of being able to see uh, the corona. That's the sun's atmosphere. Uh, we do artificial eclipses to try and track solar storms and things like that. But actually, a proper eclipse is so much better than that. Dr. Archer, thank you very much. It's going to be exciting.